Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope everybody is doing fine. I'm sure you can tell by the sound of my voice. I'm feeling a little under the weather. Um, I think I'm getting a cold, but um, I decided to go ahead and just do this video because I've been putting it off for so long. Um, yeah, I'm doing it now. <laughs> In this video, I will show you how to sew a simple skirt it's a gather skirt uh, and the special feature is that it has an exposed elastic. For this project you will need some fabric, elastic, thread that matches your elastic, an iron, pins or clips, chalk or some other kind of marking tool, a serger or pinking shears and your sewing machine of course. Gathered skirts look best with lightweight to medium weight drapey fabrics. I'm using a rayon here. See how flowy it is? The elastic I'm using is two and a half centimeters wide. Um, this is what I had and I think it's the perfect width, but you can also use narrower or even wider elastic if you want to. As for the length, Measure around your waist and subtract 5 cm. You decide how long your skirt is going to be. If you want it to hit you, for example, above the knee, remember to add to that measurement about 3 cm so you have enough to do the hem and to attach um, the waistband to the, um, to the elastic. The width of your skirt also depends on your personal preference. Measure around your hips and multiply this number by 1.5 or, if you want a fuller skirt, by 2 or by 2.5. Because we're working with woven fabric, it's important to secure the raw edges to prevent unraveling. You can do this by either using your pinking shears, by doing a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine or using your serger. First we're going to sew the side seams together. Then you will open and press them. Now we're going to gather one side of the skirt. There are different methods to do this. You can either gather fabric using your sewing machine or you can even hand baste, but I think that takes a lot of time, so I did it using my sewing machine. Remember to secure the thread to keep the gathers from unraveling. Stitch both ends of the elastic band together using a zigzag stitch. Go back and forth two times to secure the stitch. Mark your gathered skirt and elastic into four equal parts using chalk or pins. You can further divide and pin if it helps, especially if you're working with a lot of fabric. Pin the gathers on the right side of the fabric to the wrong side of the elastic, aligning the markings you made before. Arrange the gathers underneath the elastic and stitch with a stretch stitch, like a zigzag. Pull both ends of the elastic but not the fabric while you're sewing. I like to use the edge of my sewing foot as a guide so I can stitch in a straight line. On the bottom of the fabric, press 1.5 to 2.5 cm upwards to make your hem. Stitch using a straight stitch and use the edge of the foot to get a straight line. And this is the final result. I hope you like it.
I really like this project. Even for me, it didn't take too much time. Uh, I'm not uh, the fastest sewist. Um, I think next time I'm going to use um, a bit more fabric. Uh, I like the way it looks, but I think it would look even better if I if I had used more more fabric. So next time, uh, instead of multiplying uh, my hip measurement by one and a half, I think I'm going to, to multiply it by two. As for the length, I think I'm going to go back and shorten uh, this, uh, this um, skirt maybe two to three centimeters. Uh, I like my skirts to hit right above the knee uh, and I think it's a little bit too long, but it's nothing much. Uh, I've been wearing it as is, but uh, maybe if it bothers me, I'm going to shorten it sometime in the future. So as I said, this was a fairly easy project. You can use this tutorial to make skirts for your little girls, or you can make short skirts for yourself or regular skirts like the one I did. And if you have lots of fabric, you can also uh, use this tutorial to make a maxi skirt. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comment section and I'll see you soon.